Hey y'all, welcome to Lion's Den Tarot. My name is Camille and I'm doing a daily tarot for all signs and that is every single sign in the zodiac for November the 28th, right? Tomorrow's the 28th, 2021. Now you guys keep in mind, oh, I think tomorrow might be the 29th, huh? 25th, 26th, 27th. Oh, yeah, 28th. My bad, y'all. <laughs> yeah, got my days mixed up. But yes, today's the 27th. Tomorrow's the 28th. So we are going to start with the Work Your Life Oracle deck. Now, you all keep in mind, timing is fluid, okay? So if it fails to resonate with you for November 28th, it still may resonate in the future. And I'm a big believer. Everything happens for a reason. So keep an open heart and an open mind, you guys. It could be something that you really, truly need to hear, okay? Especially if you watch it. Break your life, Oracle deck. Thank you, spirit guides, ancestors, angels in my room. What do we all need to know? Um, raw. Align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? I know what they're saying to me, but what are they saying to you? But thank you, spirit guides. I know exactly what it means for me. I need to align my life, not know what that means for me. We're going to read the card, but it says, what is not aligned or needs to change? And that's just me putting my best foot forward every single second that I get when I'm far, when I'm home instead of at work, right? Thank you, spirit guys, angels, ancestors, and God. What else do we need to know? And just, yes, it's the spirit guys, and I'm in Ra. What do we need to know? All right, the Angel Oracle deck is adding not the right time. It is not the right time. And it's okay because you have to align your life. And once you align your life, you will feel and get the, the sign from the angels that this is the time. All right, thank you, Spirit Guys, Angels, Ancestors, and God. What else do we need to know? November 28th, 2021. I keep saying God, right? We're all gods and goddesses. So. I need to be more specific in who I am communicating with, correct? Amura. Thank you. Or Isis. Or a set. Hmm. I bet y'all ain't know that. I've been teaching myself. The Ancestor Spirit Oracle deck. What else do we need to know? And if y'all don't know, a set is Isis's Egyptian name. And Osiris's Egyptian name is. Assume, isn't that crazy? Assume a set, the sun rises and sunsets. All right, the ancestor spirit oracle deck is adding get into nature, coexistence, gather, limit waste. Yes, not just for saying that, just look at all the beauty around us, everything just wants to live. Okay, thank you, spirit guys, angels, ancestors, and God. What else do we need to know? November 28th, 2021. Well, we got a flyer and it is Ivy. Ivy. Animation. Thank you, spirit gods, angels, ancestors, and I'm on room. What else do we need to know? A moon rock. A moon rock. Why do I keep saying Ruth? Honey, what's going on? I need to look that up. That might be somebody that I need to look up. A moon rock. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, and the Moon Ra. What else do we need to know? November 28th, 2021. Hope you guys had a blessed day today. Hope that everything that you wanted to happen for you did. And I hope that everything that needed, most importantly needed, to happen for you did. Okay? You got to keep in mind, everything happens, even the good and the bad. If it's something bad, you got to realize why it happened. It's up to you. Beginning of the day, four swords, yes, clarity, clarity. The middle of the day, six of cups, nostalgia. And the end of the day, the hangs man. It's okay because the best course of action is inaction because guess what? It's not the right time. You've got to align your life first. Let's get into this reading. Inquiry card, 34. What in your life is no longer in alignment with who you truly are? We are cyclic beings in a constant state of change, of evolution, of growth. Change is one of the only certainties of life. 
When you resist your psychic nature, you resist life and feel stuck. Many of us have learned to be who the world wants us to be, but there comes a time when it is harder to hold onto this facade than it is to embrace who we truly are. To surrender to how we have changed and align life to what to that way of being. If you pull this card, you are being called to let go of who you once were or the things that you once defined yourself by. The job, the relationship, and the mask you wore. And to embrace who you truly are now. To courageously step into the person that you came here to be in full authenticity. To embrace your weirdness and your uniqueness. Perhaps you have outgrown some relationships or circumstances and it is time to reassess and bring all the parts of your life into alignment so that they are congruent with who you truly are today. What in your life is not aligned or needs to change? All right, and not the right time. That, this is not the right time presently for what you're inquiring about. This answer is not a no, just a not yet. Have patience. Your angels will give you a sign when the timing is perfect. All right, we got the ancestor spirit guy saying, get into nature. It's the first time I pulled that card, y'all. Let's see what it says. Let's see who they're talking about. What, what ancestors of ours are they talking about? The sea and land have always provided for the Tinglet people. With the Alaskan forests giving trees, I think I have read this before, y'all. With the Alaskan forests giving trees for shelter, canoes and totem poles, and the ocean providing fish and sea mammals for food and clothing, these people survive icy conditions by working in family groups. And this closeness means clan identity, knowledge, rituals, and laws are preserved across generations. The clans are matriarchal and have an eagle or raven as their sacred animal. In the Tinglet way of life, every living creature has a soul. There is little difference between animals and humans. Respecting and communicating with animal spirits is essential for survival. An animal is killed only when needed. The hunter then gives thanks to the animal, then remains are treated respectfully, and nothing is wasted. To live a happy, balanced life, the Tinglet people listen to the spirits and honor and care for the world around them. Yes, you guys, that's right. The ancestors speak. Go outside and feel the sun on your face or the wind in your hair. Breathe in clean, fresh air. Walk through riverbeds or feel the soft green grass under your feet. Find balance and be one with the natural world. Just as the Tinglet people have done for thousands of years. Look at how much time you are spending inside, especially in air conditioning or artificial heating or under fluorescent lights. Your body needs to recharge by having access to natural light and fresh air. Notice how good it feels when you walk outside and experience the world around you. And don't it feel good? I, I said that was a video I had today. Okay, you guys, a divinatory meaning. I just love when things like this happen. Take a look around at everything nature has provided for you. Your home your clothing, your food, all are gifts from Mother Earth. This card is encouraging you to look at how you can give thanks by limiting waste and sharing resources and knowledge with those who are close to you. Look at ways you can reduce your demands on yourself and your environment for a happier, more balanced living, okay? And then we've got Ivy. 69. Feeling fine. The green man's wisdom. Strength comes from accepting support. All right, accept support. Support comes from many directions, from individuals, spiritual resources, family members, or friends. But willingness to receive this support is often reluctantly shown, since it requires us to accept that our own resources are exhausted, that we are not totally self-sufficient. In reality, the whole world both seeks and receives assistance in times of need. And as individuals, we should be able to do just the same. In a society that stresses the importance of independence, many people struggle on and are unwilling to seek the support of others, even when they desperately need some help. Yet strength grows when we rest or allow another to support us, even for a brief moment. Pride and stubbornness should not stand in the way of any assistance that is offered. 
for we can be strengthened by friends who support us in so many different ways. The green man's wisdom here is specific. Acceptance of support is what is most important. Okay, and now we've got the four of swords, clear mind. Whatever challenges you've just been dealing with, rest assured it's O-V-E-R for a minute. Life is called a timeout so you can catch your breath and you'd best make the most of it. Get some sleep, eat a vitamin, take a rejuvenating bath, whatever you need to do to get back to your bright-eyed, bushy-tailed self. Because before you know it, life's going to blow that whistle and start trying to reverse roundhouse house that tail again. And this time, you'll be ready to end things quickly. Here's the affirmation. I rest my mind and nourish my body, knowing that there will be plenty of time to feel like trash again later. Okay, now we're going to the Six of Cups nostalgia, water energy, it's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The Six of Cups urges you to pick up a nostalgia mirror and reflect on the good old days. If you've been feeling worn out, a trip down memory lane might recharge your heart and put a smile on your face. Slow, pensive rocking on a porch chair while sipping an iced lemonade is recommended. Remember that trip to, and certainly dysfunctional friend trip, family vacation. How about that time that you and, insert name of cherished friend, got away with, wait, what did you do again? <laughs> Honoring the joy in your past can give you just the sort of gratitude boost you need to lift you into a more fulfilling present. And that's a future not to be passed up. Here's the affirmation. I'm so fortunate to have a life story that's chocked full of wild characters and unexpected delights. Let's keep this party going, shall we? And now we've got the hanged man. Okay, we know that's in action, but it's okay. Hmm, sources say you're at an impasse in some area of your life. Kind of like reaching a dead end in a maze. The best course of action, in action. In other words, Try not to keep walking into the same wall over and over again because, ouch, surrender. Turn around and try a different path. This is the gift of the hangman's upendedness, a completely fresh perspective. If you felt stuck or stagnant, the key might be to look at things with brand new baby dinosaur eyes. Once you do, you'll soon be skipping through life's never-ending maze again. Fun, right? Right? Here's the affirmation. I free myself of ego and admit there's got to be a better way. Don't know what it is yet, but I bet I will find it because, well, things will work. Right? Right? All right, y'all. Let's just get into this reading. You have a bigger, bigger purpose and you know it. You can feel it. It is growing inside of you. It is your soul is talking, is getting louder and louder and louder. And now it's time for you to embrace it. It is not the right time for you to back down. Okay. Get into nature, soak up the sun, walk around outside and get those ideas flourishing. Listen to your soul. The more you're outside getting fresh air and getting some sunshine and just feeling the breeze and soaking up nature, looking at the trees. And you see right now fall is or autumn or fall, whatever you choose to say, it's coming into play. And you see all these beautiful yellow, beautiful reds and just beautiful greens on the trees, right? You are just like that tree, a cycle that's ever changing and it's time for you to embrace who you are it is not the right time for you to look back okay it is time for you to continue to look forward look for support from your friends okay let them know how you are feeling you never know they may be there to be able to communicate to you and let you know that they've been feeling the same way okay time to look at it freshly from a whole nother perspective because your life is different from what it was just yesterday. And you have to know that, okay? And know everything will work out for you. You have just got to take that leap. You gotta take that leap of faith and take that mask off. Communicate and talk to your soul. Let your soul in. 
and you can become one mind, body, and soul, and any and everything that you want will be yours. The universe is giving you this time out right now. Take it and use it wisely. Get the support from whatever you need. Never turn it down because you have a gift and it's time for you to share it with the world. It's time and you just have to believe. Stop doubting yourself. This is not the time to stay sheltered. This is not the time to stay hidden, okay? And that's what this not the right time is saying. It's not the right time to back down. It's not the right time to hide who you are. It's the right time for you to come out, get the support, enjoy nature, listen to your soul, and grow. Use this brand new perspective that you have to give you a different path in life. Because right now, the universe has paved the way. And all you have to do, my friend, is walk the path. Okay? Thank you so much for coming to Lions and Tarot. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. It's lions underscore zen underscore tarot. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Camille in the Lions Den. If you guys would like a personal reading with me, the info is in the comments below. Thank you so much for bringing me your energy. And walk through that door. It's your time. The path is just waiting on you.